So today's video is going to be pretty much um, putting this uh, this uh, 75 gallon into my desk. I'm making some videos, you know, everybody's on quarantine right now with everything that's going on here in the U.S. and across the world. And, you know, it might be enjoyable to you guys just cooped up in the house and watching me fix a stand for my 75 gallon and building it into my desk. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut this leg support uh two by fours to make it all match the upper two by four that i got on my table here it should be simple to do so those are 28 and a half let me go cut two and we install them and then go from there so i went ahead and cut me two 28 and a halves and what i plan on doing with this i'm gonna be out of the way is pretty well just like so now, I might actually cut this too much. Uh, well, not enough, maybe. Whoops. Measure tries, cut once. Yep, I need a half inch to cut off these. I'm making a mess. Well, I need to vacuum this anyway. And I might actually hardwood for underneath this. I got enough for what I did in my house. We're modeling my house. I got enough for... Uh, bamboo hardwood floor I can put under this cut this carpet out keep from water getting on this carpet and uh pretty well smelling and mildewing and whatever carpet does when it gets wet and not dry yep and then I probably paint the back here and the back of the tank might we seal this tank you seen this tank in my previous videos um I'm rambling on anyway <laughs> anyhow what I did was just wanted to screw into my pre-existing uh leg here and this is actually studded and ever stud a bunch of screws if i can focus down through the i don't know if you can see them but there's some screws down through the and uh but what i did was one one screw here i'm going to put one screw in here and one here and one through here to hold this leg that i made steady basically it's cosmetic and it could hold some extra weight too because it's now off the screws and travels down to this so it works out but uh let me go ahead and get this done and then we go to the next step so this is pretty much the legs for this side right here and it carries around as you can see now i'm going to put another leg uh just like that look over the mess i'm going to put uh on this leg another two by four one down just like that to make it all even and match so this is pretty much what it's going to look like uh gone ahead and put this brace and did the bottom shelving here i'm going to show you uh the way i did that this is that board i was just talking about it runs across from here to here and ties in here and it goes straight uh the screws go straight down now I test fitted the tank as you can see it's pretty 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 tight and uh, once this lead is made it will be able to come up here and latch and then I have access to the tank which is a uh, pretty good um, if I could pull this tank back out which I will show you here in a few minutes well or tomorrow or the next day whenever I paint the back of this wall I also put the hard wood down, I cut the carpet square on both sides and uh, put hard wood down for added support and uh, underneath the carpet, the plywood, I actually painted and made that uh, waterproof. Then I put the hardwood floor in and then I put these 2 by 4 up. Now this is the shelving I'm making. I'm actually making this to... Uh, be just you know shaving i can put a game system or something in but next step is uh get the plywood for the shells and this end will be pretty well uh plywooded off too make it all nice i might put a a panel that i can remove off this so i can get back here if i put any uh filtration hang on backs or anything underneath my lighting i can attach 
up through here right here now I actually got a light that I can use on this it came on my 75 gallon uh, used video I picked uh, showed you picking this tank up and the only thing I wanted was pretty well this tank but I got these lids a light and some more stuff that I can use but I mostly wanted the tank so let's go ahead and add the plywood it might be tomorrow or next day before I finish this video up but you know I just wanted to show you guys so it's been a few months after I made that desk and I ended up uh, letting a buddy have the 75 gallon because I changed my mind about what I want to do with that desk in that area I ended up not using the 75 gallon I ended up letting another boy use the FX filter too you know so we didn't finish the desk project but you get an idea of how you can do yours uh, if you got an in desk uh, aquarium or if you got a helpful idea from that video let me know I enjoy hearing from you guys as you can see I do got a fish room I actually got lots of aquariums uh, this is one of my lacking systems I've been working on uh, it's it's a work in progress you can see I'm adding more shelves to it here but uh, it still needs the air system I gotta make sure air pumps one and all the sponge filters and stuff on the tanks that is set up with a uh, with livestock some red devils now here in the middle but as always thank you for watching this video check my channel out for more content there's more content than just aquariums and fish all the molded painting every now and again i game you know it's my channel and you pretty much tune in to see what's going on with me and i do helpful how-to videos too you know try to help everybody out try to be as helpful as you can you know be a good person that's that's what life is about so thank you for watching if you're new get subscribed if you uh one of my returning subscribers thank you i appreciate it appreciate every one of you and i'll see you next time thank you for watching